Hello there guys, Alex Aircraft here. So I'm making another video and this is more for people who are looking to get into mesh and so on for second life mostly. Um, if you are more advanced in working with 3D and stuff, uh, this video doesn't really qualify for you, but you can still watch anyways so you can get a, get an idea of uh, what to expect when you're gonna come into second life and start doing stuff. So, uh, basically how Second Life works, uh, it's mostly popular uh, human, animals, hybrid bodies that are, usually the developers give out their original file with some form of demorph um, on which you build over uh, clothing or tails or whatever extra accessories uh, for the avatar, right? Um, if some of them are easier to work with than others and being a beginner I would recommend a few of the easier ones to work with. Uh, that being said, I wouldn't recommend uh, starting off with Matreya, Beleza or Slink. Uh, these are bodies that are pretty complex in uh, even in rigging and so on. And you will end up creating mesh that's not gonna be uploadable to the game because it's so complex. Um, on the other hand, uh, some other bots that I would recommend you work with are uh, Kuro, Feretorso, Kimono, uh, ABC Bouncy Boobs is a bit uh, more delicate, but it's uh, quite easy to work with as well since it's based on the Kimono. Um, see what else which other body was uh, pretty easy to work with um, if you want to make shoes uh, I wouldn't recommend jumping into high heels straight up because you're gonna have a few issues there um, so let's take a look at the simple bodies to use and we're gonna make an example of why these are simple to use and simple to make clothing for in comparison to other bodies that I've said that are more advanced and require a bit more skill and technique in order to figure it out. So let's start with the feather torso which is um, my main thing. Um, this is mainly the, the body itself, the rest of them are add-ons for the kimono body. As you can see, the geometry on this is pretty, pretty well done for the rig. It's not an exact duplicate of the in-game one, but it's uh, really, really, really close. Um, this is what would be considered an easy to work with rig. Basically, you can pretty much just go over this and make clothing, and they're gonna match inside the game pretty much exactly because the body is uh, made to resemble the one in game really really close right um, now let's look at the Matreya since I know most of you are interested in that one um, the Matreya the official rig for Matreya is extremely inaccurate as in body mass this one would be loose and this one would be the closest to the body now besides this being uh, decimated and having its weights ruined um, it has this giant uh, matria logo inside the stomach which pretty much fucked up all the weights in there um, it's really inaccurate. Um, if you're gonna try and make clothing for this, you're gonna have to like guess quite a lot on how deep you have to go inside this uh, uh, mannequin that they provide. Um, it's really, really inaccurate. Uh, most of the time, your clothing are just gonna be floating on the body, and they're not gonna touch the body at all. Um, Besides that, you are going to have to play with the weights randomly because um, 
this is really inaccurate so either if you're making the weights from zero or you're just transferring them it's gonna be pretty much the same thing and there isn't gonna be much of a difference between you guessing the weights and transferring them from here so that's an example of a really hard rig to work with um, uh, Onyx the creator said that she was working on a new rig to give out to devs uh, but haven't heard anything about that in quite a while um, so this is uh, mostly why Matria clothing is so expensive most of the time and so inaccurate it's because the rig is really really badly made um, this is a rig that's made by I wouldn't say an amateur um, but yeah from what I've heard um, the owner of this uh, just is a business person and doesn't really know anything about creating mesh and stuff and she hires people to do it but moving on um, let's move to the Beleza ones um, these are pretty uh, pretty neat to work with except that you have to uh, bind them to an armature on your own the mesh itself is really way too complex than it needs to be um, but these are pretty accurate as well um, issues that you would have with these uh, the weights are pretty good as well on these as well um, issues you will have with these are um, the thighs here uh, making stuff around the thighs um, you've got two options you can either like put the legs apart right or you can just delete one of the legs and uh, just get rid of one of the legs which you're gonna have to do extremely careful so you don't delete uh, part of the other leg as well and from here you can just keep on deleting uh, since you've got the weights on the other side uh, you can just mirror from there and not worry about uh, this not actually being there uh, this way you can actually see where you're supposed to go and you can uh, make your mesh really tight around the, the legs you're trying to make like stockings or um, what you call them um, jeans or pants or stuff like that that are really tight to the clothing and have like uh, transparent patches um, this is one way to do it with the Beleza bodies since uh, the thighs go into each other again it's uh, this one's pretty good uh, one thing I don't like about it is that it's extremely complex uh, it's more complex than it should be and moving on to um, kimono again kimono very simple very easy to use this is uh, one of the best rigs on second life at the moment uh, mainly because utilizer is uh, one of the, a person who actually knows what he's doing as you can see it has its destinations here and there uh, but it, it's mostly fairly simple and the weights are pretty accurate on it it doesn't have any uh, jiggling breasts so you don't have to worry about uh, your breasts uh, region not matching and so on again fairly simple uh, this is a simplified version than the one in game uh, things to look out for on this one are the leg regions because these are missing a few uh, edges so you would have to like add one edge into all of these and make the body round in order to match the one in, in game um, this one comes with the tail uh, which you can transfer the weights off of to your own tail and make a bento tail fairly easy um, has bento hands which um, are a bit complex than they should be but again uh, it's a pretty good rig and pretty accurate 
this, if you're gonna start uh, doing 3D, I would recommend starting with this, with the kimono rig. Um, mainly because a lot of people have given up on making clothing for the kimono mainly. And the market is pretty much kind of dead at the moment, and you can pretty much just walk in and uh, do do that. Moving on. So we did Beleza. Uh, let's move over to Slink. Um, Slink again um, ties really close to each other. Very decimated. Um, one thing to look out for on this one is um, the complexity level of your mesh. If your mesh is too complex, um, you're gonna have a bad time and a hard time rigging it for this because of the decimation on it. Um, it's what I've noticed with this, with this one is that uh, in Blender it looks fine. But when I import it into the game, there's gonna be like minor issues here and there. Um, but other than that, uh, it's uh, pretty good. It's pretty fine. A bit too complex than it should be. Um, faces, 25,000 triangulations. Um, not that bad for a body but keep in mind that you're gonna need the hands and the feet as well and the head uh, this is just a body um th this is pretty uh pretty accurate and pretty good as well um the hourglass is uh, fairly easy to work with that's slim for the the same for the original slink um slink did a pretty good job on her rig um I wouldn't say it's the easiest to work with, uh, mainly because of the weight groups. She did not remove a lot of them and you have weight groups in there for the male parts and so on and the heads and there are a lot of weight groups in here uh, that are, shouldn't be. Um, you're gonna have to remove a bunch of them in order to, uh, in order for second half to let you import the, your mesh for this into the game. Um, even Avastar won't remove uh, all of them, it will remove some, a ma majority of them, but not all of them, so you will still have to remove a few manually. Um, those are about the issues with the Slink, um, with the Slink body, Slink uh, rig, rigs uh, for the female bodies. Um, Kura body, Fairly simple. Um, geometry pretty, pretty in there. Pretty simple geometry, uh, easy to work with. Really easy to work with. It's uh, the exact same way that your mesh is gonna be as close to your mesh is gonna be in here is gonna be the same in the game. Really accurate to the one in game. Um, again, a great rig to start learning how to rig on it. On, um, it's fairly easy to use. Really, really simple. Um, other than that, not sure what else I can say about it. It's it's really, really well done. Uh, easy to work with. I haven't found any complaints about it. The weights are pretty, um, pretty okay. Um, when you first get the rig, I would suggest getting rid of the face bones because um, you don't have a head in there. So that's about it for the coral rig. Um, Glutes is uh, high heels, high feet. Um, they're fairly easy to work with um, as long as you use an ankle lock uh, which is basically an animation that keeps um, these bones at the bottom here from moving and I mean from rotating like that um, that's where you're gonna encounter issues with the weights you can weight it but it's um, it's a bit of a pain to do but other than that, it's uh, they're pretty good. 
be pretty well made. Um, the geometry is uh, fairly simple, as you can see. Doesn't really match the geometry in game, but it's uh, fairly easy to use. I mostly, whenever I do shoes for the, uh, these, I just use an ankle lock for them. Um, I did a few that are without ankle locks. Uh, it took me quite a bit to figure out the way it's around this region over here, which it was uh, clipping. Since I mostly did shoes that were going through here, uh, they were more like boots. Um, but I guess if you're not going to make something that's going to go over this, um, you should be fairly good without an ankle lock and you're doing like platforms or heels or something like that should be should be fine moving on um, ABC rig um, the male ones are fairly easy to use um, the breasts um, come in with um, their own um, sliders for testing. Uh, there are other ways to move around this. Um, this comes with two armatures, one for the breast, which would be boob test, and one from the kimono skeleton, which would be the kimono skeleton, and when exporting mesh for the ABC bounce for the ABC breasts, uh, I recommend using the kimono skeleton because if you export it with a boob test, uh, it's not gonna work in game because the boob test is just a boob test. It's not really an armature for that's gonna work with Second Life. Um, another thing I would recommend uh, before starting do your mesh and uh, once you get the rig is deleting the kimono parts that are uh, underneath this one. So just basically go like this and just get rid of most of them you know, so you don't have weights overlapping and giving you a hard time so you've got only that better right there uh, if you got like a space here um, doesn't, really, doesn't really affect you with anything that small space there uh, it won't affect your rigging uh, best way to do this is to take a bit and cut out uh, one one part of it there and then cut out again uh, on this other side as well and then you can just uh, oh, and the neck as well obviously um, just basically select around it and um, And I can select the middle and just remove it. And then you can pretty much join them. And you're gonna have the weights uh, proper. Uh, pretty easy to work with rig. Uh, you might encounter a few exporting issues with this one. Um, if when you're exporting, it says zero mesh exported. Uh, export your mesh as an OBJ file and then reopen the rig, import your OBJ file into it and retransfer the weights. I would recommend doing this before you start weight painting. Um, these are issues I've encountered with uh, the ABC rig for the breast. Moving on. Um, Avatar 2.0 uh, really easy to use there's no need to go into details about that one um, the bifrost bunny I think it's what this is I'm not sure this is pretty this is a pretty old rig really really old Yeah, I think this is the Bifrost Bunny. As you can see, the geometry on this is pretty spot on and pretty pretty good. Uh, imagine this would be really easy to work with. I've only made like 
um, a tail for these. But other than that, I haven't really bothered with it. But again, it looks uh, fairly clean and fairly easy to use. Um, and I think that's about it for that's about it for rigs introductions of some of the most popular uh, bodies in Second Life. If you have questions or queries about uh, anything in this video, let me know in the comment section below. I'll get to you as soon as I see the comment. And I hope this helps. And have a great day or night or morning. See you guys at Excitecraft signing off.